Hi, I'm Jimmy from Birdbenders and welcome to my world. No one told me that my world would be running late today because of uploading these videos. So, let's get to work. I'm late. I'm late. But I'm getting there at 90 miles an hour. I mean, 55 miles an hour. Okay, it is. I made it on time, by the way. I was just dealing with Jim, who is a customer now. He just brought in some gardening tools and a knife and a marlin spike. So I'll be dealing with that. But obviously, first of all, I've got to go get some a donut. So let's take a walk. You can see the entrance of Homestead. We never did go through there. Let's cut through there real quick. That thing is awesome. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> it's 9.30. First set of knives are already in. We see these type of knives a lot, as you can imagine. This costs um, $5 a knife. One, two, three, it's $5. And $4 for that knife. It takes me about 10 minutes to finish them up. So I'm going to get started on now. Guess who got a tripod? Okay, real quick. I want to show you what I look for when a knife comes in. Number one, I check the geometry and I make sure that it's sitting flat. This knife I've already sharpened, I've already fixed the geometry. Number two, this is a homeowner's knife, so it's going back to a house. So I want to take out any chips, nicks, dings, and re-tip it, always. Uh, they're always messed up, so you're always going to have to do all of that. Take that edge off and completely rebuild it. Number three, I always put a steeper edge, 18 degree angle on, on a knife like this, this is a Hinkle's. Um, and it's going back to a homeowner's home, which they are cutting on God knows what, hopefully wood or a saucer of plastic. I put a highly polished edge on it for them. It'll last a little bit longer. Um, we can make them completely razor sharp, so they're cutting through anything and shaving. But you don't want that on a knife like this. We'll never hold it, and the customer won't be happy. Okay, got two globals in, um, and a pair of shears. These globals, the, the lady that just brought them in, who I had talked to her in the past, she said that they came from the factory not very sharp. We did a paper test on them and they are not very sharp. So, and that is something very common that we see um, with all knives. So what we're gonna do is completely resharpen. We're gonna take the factory edge off and go from there. And I'll show them when you're, when you're done. Okay, globals are done, let's clean them up. Apparently cutting, um, Phone book paper has become a thing. So let's we'll see if we can do that. I clean them up with a, w, a little bit of WD 40 to get the compounds off that I used. These were all done by hand. I did bulk out the edges um, on the belt sander very quickly, but everything was finished off by hand. When I cut paper, I want to hear absolutely as close to nothing as possible. Uh, foam book paper. It's like going through butter. Well, look at this beauty here. Big Mac knife. Absolutely gorgeous. Came in the box. Uh, the guy said that he's had it for a couple years and it's still fairly sharp. It's a little chipped up. So we are going to hand sharpen this back to where it needs to be and make it gorgeous. Oh, by the way, when a knife comes in like this, the first thing I do is cut with it to see what it does and you can hear the the roughness of the edge and that's a pull through cut so let's see what we can do with that okay guys the mac is done it is absolutely gorgeous it is a heck of a knife i have not done a paper test on it and um we'll do that together i if you don't know mac knives find out about them they are phenomenal knives they're not as well known as uh, many of the other brands out there but mac Mac makes a heck of a knife. Let's check it out. I'm not sure when this 
you can. I'm not real big on the um, stone book paper, but I'll keep using it. Somehow that became a thing. And um, I'm just assuming that every knife we do, we'll cut that pretty easily. Either way, that's a heck of a knife. I thought I was working hard today. Look at these guys. That's a lot of Christmas trees. There's a line of cars waiting to get them. All right, some shuns came in. And if you look at them closely, the tips are gone. All broken, all bent. We're going to replace all those tips and resharpen each one of these knives. Uh, the customer also asked that we grind this edge down a little bit so he doesn't nick him every time he's cutting. So we're going to do all that and let's take a look at them when we're done. Okay, we are re-tipped. So let's see what we did here. First of all, we re-edged them all the way down. Put brand new pretty tips on them. This knife is very thin. You need to be very careful when you sharpen a knife like that. You gotta clean them up a little bit, but. And let me assure you, they are sharp. Myabi versus Shun. It's a tie. <laughs> They're both great knives. They really are. And really, this is a Hinkles versus Kershaw. Um, I, I, I would take either one. They're both Japanese style knives, so they're flat ground from top to bottom. Um, this one, however, has been used quite a bit. I've got to work on this one. And I am going to either... I don't know. I'm either going to convex it and go that route, since it's so thick now. Or I'm going to flat grind it from top all the way back down like an original knife. If I don't do either one of those, I'm going to pull it back to about here, the edge and flat ground that and convex the, the very bottom of it. Um, great knife. This is a Kaji, I believe, VG10. Uh, this is a Myo Myobi 6000 DCM. Um, this is, I don't know what they're thinking on. They're putting that on there for something. Uh, but they're both well-worn knives uh, and very good knives. They, between the two, if I had to pick one, I'd go with a Myobi. I really like those. I think they feel better and they're weighted better uh, in my hands. However, there are shuns out there that I love too. Yeah, gotta go with my hobby at this point. Between the two. Uh, they're both difficult to sharpen and they take a long time. This knife here, we charge $19 to sharpen by hand. Uh, it takes a good half hour to sharpen at least. This knife we are probably going to charge more than that to get it back in better working shape. Uh, but they're both, I think both of them are a couple hundred dollars a piece, so. And they're well used, they're used by a chef. Okay. Mobby versus Chun, Mobby wins. It's been a long day. So it is now seven o'clock-ish. Trailer just locked up. On Sunday, I'm done. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.